Okay, example four is an example where we're going to have to divide our polynomials. So uh, we have a rectangle with the area of x cubed plus 5x squared plus x minus 15. Uh, and then they give us one side of the uh, rectangle is x plus 3. So find the other side. All right, so I'm going to draw a little picture of what this means. So rectangle. Okay. Then we have an area, which is uh, modeled by um, x cubed plus 5x squared plus x minus 15. Okay, that's the area. All right, and then give us one of the sides. Let's just say this side, x plus 3. Okay, well, I'm going to call this side the length. And we'll call this side the width. Now, we don't know the width. All right, so to figure this out, we we'll call that area equals length times our width. So for me to figure out uh, the width, all I got to do is divide both sides by the length. Okay, so the length will cross out here. And basically, our width will equal the area over our length. Okay, well, using that, we can divide this. So we know the area is x cubed plus 5x squared plus x minus 15 divided by um, x plus 3. So since we're dividing this, I'm going to use synthetic division. Okay. So um, <clears throat> write your coefficients inside. 1, 5, 1 for the x and negative 15 for the constant. And then our um, divisor is x plus 3. So I'm going to take the back number, change the sign to a negative 3. So that will be our pivot point for the synthetic division. First number we bring down to the bottom. Anything times the bottom, we multiply to our pivot point. 1 times a negative 3 is a negative 3. I'm going to write that next door to the arrow. Then we combine. 5 and negative 3 make 2. 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6. And we combine that, we get negative 5. Negative 5 times a negative 3, we get a positive 15. Combine that, we get 0. So using our synthetic addition, working right to left, that is my remainder. Constant, x power 1, x power 2. So what turns out to happen is that our width is going to equal x squared plus 2x minus 5.